Now comparing quantities. So what is the need of comparing two quantities? For example, A got in one subject 28 marks out of 50 and B got 35 marks out of 70. Now, who is get more marks here? Who got more marks? So, this is marks per out of 50. This is marks per 35. So, one of the method to comparing quantities is percentages. You convert both into percentages. How we can convert into percentage? Simply, you multiply with 100 here. We get... 56% this is. Here also if you can in multiply with 100, 35 1s, 35 2s, 250s, we get 50%. So A got 56% and B got 50%. So who got more marks here? A. So A got more marks than B. So, here we have to compare the two quantities by converting the marks of the two students into percentages. Now, let us see how you can convert into percentages. First, when you are given fractions, Fractions, how you can convert into percentages. For example, 5 by 4 is given. How you can convert into fraction? When you are given a fraction, to convert into percentage, percentage means per 100. So here, 56% means per 100 marks, he is getting 56. Here also, Per 100 is getting 50. So percentage means you remember 100. Now 5 by 4, this fraction how you can convert into percentages. So into 100 here. 425. 25 fives, 125 percent. Is it clear? So one more example you see. Suppose 12 by 16 given. How you can convert into percentage? So 12 by 16 into 100. So here 4 fours, 4 threes, 4 25s. 25 into 3, 75 percent. So, so when you are given fractions, if you want to convert them into percentages, simply you multiply with 100. Is it clear? Now let us see, when you are given decimals, how you can convert into percentages. Decimals, decimal fractions are given. How you can convert into percentages. For example, 0.75. 75. How you can convert into percentage? First, you convert this decimal fraction into p e by q form. That is a 75 by 100. So, because here two digits are there after decimal, you write 100. Now we get as the as like this, you get fraction here. So simply you multiply with 100. So this is equal to 75%. One more example you take, suppose 3.5. 3.5 given. You convert into percentage. So 3.5 means you can write 35 by 100. 35 by 10. 
So into 100. 10 by year after decimal, one digit is there. So you write 10. So you can remove the decimal then. So 0, 0 cancel. 3.5 you convert into percentages. We get 350 percent. Is it? So like this, when you are given uh, decimal places, first you convert them into fraction. Again, by multiplying with 100, you get percentages. Is it? Next, how to convert uh, percentages into how many? For example, uh, in a class, uh, there are 32 students are there. So, out of 32 students, in the examination, in an examination, 25 percent are failed. 25 percent students uh, failed. Then how many students failed? So how you can find this? Simply, so number of students failed. Number of students failed equal to so 32 into 25 percent win. For every 100 student, 25 students are failed. So you can write here 25 by 100. So then get 25 ones, 25 fours, 4 ones, 4 eights, 8 into 1, 8 students are failed. Is it clear? Now let us see ratios, how you can convert into percentages. For example, 3 is to 1. How you can convert into percentage? So 3 is to 1 means here the total ratio here three plus one four then uh, percentage of first part here three by four into hundred three by total ratio four into hundred then we get four twenty five here we get seventy five percent now second part here Second part means 1 by total ratio 4. So 1 by 4 into 100. 4 ones, 4 25. So 25 percent. So 3 is to 1. If you convert into percentages, we get 75 percent and 25 percent. Now let us see one more problem. Now let us see. Exercise 7.2, second Roman, B bit. So the given ratio is here, 2 is to 3 is to 5. So three parts are there. Now each part you convert into ratio, percentages. So here total ratio first you find 2 plus 3 plus 5. We get 10. So how many parts are there? 3 parts. Now you convert each part into percentages. So first part, 2. So first part you take first. 2 by total ratio 10 into percentage means into 100. We get 20%. Now, second part. Second part, uh, 3 here. Uh, so, 3 by 10 into 100. We get uh, 30 percent. 
Now third part of this ratio is five year. So five by ten into hundred. So we get fifty percent. So if you convert the the ratio two is to three is to five into percentages, first part we get twenty percent, second part thirty percent, and third part fifty percent. Is it? Let us see the same exercise seven point one. Eighth problem now. So in here, constituency, fifteen thousand waters are there. So number of waters here, number of waters, fifteen thousand are there. Number of waters, fifteen thousand. Sixty percent voted. So in the election, sixty percent voted. So percentage of voted, sixty percent. So the question is, how many students? How many persons did not vote? How many voters did not vote? How many people did not vote? That is the question here. So out of hundred, sixty percent vote voted. So percentage of percentage of who did not vote? Who did not vote? Equal to forty percent. So number of voters. Who did not vote equal to now fifteen thousand into forty by hundred two zeros cancel fifteen into four sixty two zeros so six thousand people did not vote in the election is it clear now let us see. In seven point exercise, exercise seven point two. You see third problem now. See what is the question here first. The population of a city decreased from twenty five thousand to twenty four thousand five hundred. So at begin. At the beginning, population. At the beginning, what is the population? Twenty-five thousand now. So after decreasing present population here. Twenty four thousand five hundred. So, what is the question here? What is the percentage of decrease? So, first you find here population number of population decrease. You find number of population decrease. That you find here first. At the beginning, what is the population? Twenty-five. What is the present population? Twenty-four thousand five hundred. So, number of population decrease means twenty-five thousand minus twenty-four thousand five hundred. So we get five hundred. Now you convert this five hundred into percentages. So now percentage of Decrease. So percentage you calculate on total population. So five hundred by twenty five thousand into hundred. 
టూ జీరోస్ ఇయర్ క్యాన్సిల్ వన్ మోర్ జీరో క్యాన్సిల్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ టూస్ సో పర్సంటేజ్ ఆఫ్ డిక్రీజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు టూ పర్సెంట్ ఇది నెక్స్ట్ పర్సంటేజెస్ వీ కెన్ యూజ్ టు ఇన్ ప్రాఫిట్స్ అండ్ లాస్ సో పర్సంటేజ్ ఆఫ్ ప్రాఫిట్ అండ్ పర్సంటేజ్ ఆఫ్ లాస్ so usually when we get profit what is profit when if selling price is greater than cost price we get profit is it so profit means we can say selling price minus cost price so if selling price is less than cost price we get loss so loss we can find cost price minus selling price now how you can find percentage of profit or loss so percentage of profit we have a formula you can remember this formula profit by cost price into 100 same way percentage of loss loss by cost price into 100 so either profit or loss both are calculated on cost price only now let us see some problems now in uh, 7.2 exercise we can do one problem that is uh, fifth sum so i buy a tv for 10000 rupees so buying price or it is also called cost price so cost price of uh, tv what is the cost price of tv 10000 rupees by selling it i get a profit of 20% so percentage of profit given here 20% then at what price i sold it it means what is the selling price of tv that we want to find first you find what is the profit you find profit you get uh, profit is given in percentages for every 100 rupees we are getting 20 rupees is profit so how much profit we get on 10000 how you can get it simply 10000 into 20 by 100 so we get 20 to 100 rupees 2000 now we have cost price and profit now you find selling price of tv selling price of tv equal to cost price plus profit plus profit so cost price how much 10000 plus profit 2000 so we get 12000 rupees is the selling price of tv now let us see one more sum in exercise 7.2 is the problem juhi sells a machine 13500 so so in the previous problem cost price given now selling price of washing machine given how much given selling price 13000 
फाइव हंड्रेड सो बाय सेलिंग वॉशिंग मशीन एट दिस प्राइस जो ही लॉस इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट लॉस ट्वेंटी परसेंट गिवे देन व्हाट इज द कास्ट प्राइस एट व्हाट प्राइस शी बॉट इट दैट इज द क्वेश्चन हियर so 20% loss means if the cost price is 100 rupees loss 20 rupees then we can say selling price 100 rupees cost price If you if you get twenty percent twenty rupees loss, mean you are selling it eighty rupees. Is it? You are selling it eighty rupees. So what is the cost price of washing machine? That is the question here. so here if the selling the, you find the ratio here first ratio of selling price to cost price what is the selling price 80 is to cost price hundred selling price eighty cost price hundred now cost price of uh, when the selling price is thirteen thousand five hundred cost price you take x suppose so if uh, selling price uh, Thirteen thousand five hundred. You take cost price x. Then here you can write the ratio of these two again. The ratio of selling price to cost price. Equal to thirteen thousand five hundred is to x. Now these two ratios are equal now. What are the two ratios here? Eighty is to hundred equal to thirteen thousand five hundred is to x. When two ratios are equal, we can apply product of extremes equal to product of means. You have it in sixth class. So eighteen to x, eighty x, and a product of means thirteen thousand five hundred into hundred. Then x equal to thirteen thousand five hundred into hundred. By eighty zero zero cancel. Next two fives, two fours. Now four ones here. Four threes twelve. Remainder one five. Four threes twelve again. Remainder three zero. Four sevens twenty eight. Remainder two zero four fives. Now multiply with five here. Five fives twenty five. Five seven thirty five plus two thirty seven. Five three is fifteen plus three eighteen. Five three is fifteen plus one sixteen. So cost price of washing machine is sixteen thousand eight hundred and. Seventy-five rupees. Okay, we can use uh, percentages 
in finding a simple interest. So simple interest formula we have is equal to principal P into time T into R percentage of interest by 100. Simple interest formula principal into time into rate of interest by 100. So what is the interest here? Suppose if you give somebody 100 rupees, so he wants to give it back after one year by, by giving 5 rupees extra. It means 105 rupees after one year he is paying 105 rupees. Now he is taking 100 rupees after one year he wants to pay 105. So the excess amount what he pays is called interest. So here interest uh, 5 rupees. Understand interest means? Now let us see one problem now see. Now in 7.2 exercise uh, ninth sum. So here principal amount of 1200 rupees P equal to 1200 rupees and uh, at the rate of interest uh, interest rate at 12 percent per annum so what is the amount he has to pay after three years so time is a year uh, Three years. So what amount he has to pay after three years? So first you find interest here. Interest we have a formula PTR by 100. So P equal to 1200. 12% 12 means you know it. 12 by 100 time 3 years, 0, 0, then we get 12 into 12, 144 and 144 into 3, 3 fourths 12, 3 fourths 12 plus 1, 13, 3 into 1, 3, plus 1, 4. So, amount he has to pay at the end of 3 years is equal principal amount 1200 plus 432. We get 1632. Okay, thank you.